Hey guys, how's it going? Fernie coming at you. I wanted to drop this quick video because it seems that there's a common issue known about the Microsoft Surface 3. I don't know if it's just with the operating system or if it might be more additional products that go through this. But I noticed right off the bat, because I only had this a little bit over a week, um, that the battery wouldn't fully charge even though I would leave it on all night. Uh, leave it connected, I'm sorry, all night. And or it wouldn't even charge at all. It, it was just, it was something like a, a hit or miss where it would sometimes or it wouldn't sometimes. And that was kind of, well, kind of annoying, of course, because it wouldn't, it wouldn't charge. But um, eventually I noticed when I have a, a battery pack and I had it connected and I noticed right here in this section with the battery it would when I would click it, it would say that it was uh, currently plugged in, but not charging. It would say that in this area, and um, I, I had no idea what that meant because I noticed that it would only charge all of a sudden for like five seconds, and then it would turn off, and it would go back to the currently plugged in, but not charging error message. And I went online, um, I, I googled it, and, and I came up with a, a Microsoft blog, I guess, that they have. And there was a lot of people that were having the same issue. So that's the reason why I wanted to leave this. Uh, just in case um, you don't go to that first or you're looking for a quick fix, they they actually sent me, I, I got in touch with the, with the chat, the online chat, and they sent me how to fix it. So, again, when that, that'll show when you guys click on your in your battery icon. It'll show you right here in this area. It'll read currently plugged in but not charging. Okay, so what you guys want to do, um, you're going to click the start button and you can press and hold it down for three seconds and it'll come up with with uh, different options right there. You're going to click on device manager. Okay. And of course, it's going to come up with all the all the different options. Sorry about the light glare, guys. Okay, so you're going to see where it says, let's see, batteries. You're going to click batteries. You're going to click the little drop-down arrow. Okay. And it's going to say Microsoft Surface ACPI-Compliant Control Method Battery. You're going to click that. Mm, sorry, guys. I don't know why that came up. You're going to click that. Actually, you're going to press and hold it down for three seconds. Okay. Let me do that here. And do you see where it says uninstall? You're going to click uninstall. Okay. And once you click uninstall, it's going to give you another message. It's going to say, you are about to uninstall this device from your system. You're going to just click OK, and it's going to unlatch the battery, and then you're going to have to restart your computer or restart the, the Microsoft Surface 3. And do not, make sure you do not, do not click delete the driver software from this device, okay? Because then it'll jack it up, and you have to go back to Microsoft too. Um, I have no idea what they need to do because I didn't do that, but make sure you just click OK. It'll unlatch the battery and reinstall it. Uh, it doesn't do anything to the screen, but you have to restart it. It'll it'll tell you to restart it. So once you do that, um, you'll just click restart down here uh, on the on the Windows. You hit power and then restart, and it's supposed to it's supposed to. Um, uh, reinstall all uh, the battery and reinstall all the software so that's just a quick fix guys it has worked because I haven't had any issues since then um, just in case you are having that trouble uh, make sure you do that and I'll go ahead and leave the exact steps because I do have the steps on, on my email uh, I'll leave the exact steps on, on exactly what to do just in case it didn't go exactly like the steps told me um, it didn't it told me that it was uh, that it was gonna actually have to install new software. It didn't do that. Um, it just restarted the, the battery restarted and it, it went through regular and um, it restarted like like normal. 
and uh, it's worked as you guys can see it it uh it shows now the a time for it to fully charge so it's charging right now okay that's what you guys want if it shows that error message again do these steps and you should be fine if for any reason it's still doing that you want to get with microsoft chat online or you can call them um because i'm not sure if it's an operating system for just the surface 3 or it could be the surface pro 3 pro 4 whatever it might be um that's definitely an issue that that you want to fix and it did fix it so um hit like share guys and leave any comments that you would like if anything else helped you or if there are any other issues that you might be having i'll definitely be happy to look them up and and get a fix for you guys all right well this is Fernie coming at you again guys and thank you for taking a look at this video god bless